All right, title, what's up? We got our board briefing for Tuesday, August 8th. All right, so a little different setup, different room here. It's gonna take me a little while to get used to this. Uh, I got my board on the angle over here. Pre-wad skill work today. We're gonna do three touch and go power cleans. If we can do touch and go, it'd be preferable because of the, the, the manner of the timing. It's every minute on the minute, okay? Um, it, um, increasing and loading after each successful one if they were good. If they're a little sketchy, maybe stay at that weight. Uh, working up to a load that's going to be challenging for you. Okay, so this doesn't mean it has to be a three rep max. Okay, it just means that we want to try to connect three reps together, touch and go reps um, at a heavier load to get some practice in. Okay, have your weights laid out beside you. Know your jumps because three touch and go reps. Usually we only do one of a rep of some kind every minute on the minute or one or two. This one's three. The time's going to be of the essence to change those weights and move on to the next set. Okay. Uh, next thing we have is our workout. AMRAP 12. 36 double unders followed by six squat cleans at 95, 135 for the men. Um, what a great workout. This reminds me of a little bit of Elizabeth, which is... 21, 15, nine squat cleans and ring dips. Okay, so challenging on the shoulders with the double unders, challenging on your squat with those six squat cleans at 135.95. Uh, level two is 75, 115. Level one is 65, 95. So all the loading's pretty heavy today as, as uh, we've gone through the month of, or started the month of August. You'll notice the weight increases not increasing going up, but the extra loading that's generally on the bar, okay? Um, six to eight rounds is what we're looking for. Now, the loading on your bar should allow you in warm-up to go six reps unbroken. Whether you do that in your workout or not, it's sort of up to you. Whatever is going to give you the most reps in that 12 minutes, that's the style of workout or cleans you should do, squat cleans. Um... For me, I'm gonna squat and touch and go as long as I can, and then I'll be doing quick singles after that. Let's make sure that if we're dropping the weight from the top of the shoulder, from the shoulder, that we have crash mats. So what I would do for this workout is bring it down to my hip, drop it from the floor there, pick it right back up, okay, as uh, fast singles. Um, double unders, we should be working on practicing those double unders and getting them unbroken if we can, 36, right? It's gonna gas you a little bit and that's gonna sort of affect how we're doing those squat cleans as well. Um, regardless of what level of workout you're doing, we should, all, we should be aiming for what we just talked about, unbroken or quick singles on the cleans and unbroken on the double unders. Obviously, some scaling options if we have some, or not obviously, scaling options if we have some injuries or the loads are too heavy for us, we just scale back the load. Other things we can do if we cannot squat per se, maybe we're doing power cleans, okay? Um, or we could do, use dumbbells, all sorts of things to scale this workout. All right, guys, it's going to be a really fast and furious workout tomorrow. Have some fun with it. Get those reps and rounds. Enjoy.